Hey guys, just going to uh, give you a little video this week. Um, it's been a real strange week over here in England. Um, winter arrived. Um, so this time last year we didn't have any frosts, probably till after January. I can't remember that many frosts um, before uh, before January or before Christmas. Um, this year we've already had a few this week, I think three, three frosts, so I wake up in the morning. Um, so this week I say has been real, real strange for me. Um, Monday I had a trouble with the hedge cutter, the combi hedge cutter, and um, it was popping away a little bit, it just kept revving up and down, sort of, sort of noise. Um, so I thought I'll get it checked out. Uh, not, I've probably had it for about five years, and I don't think I've ever even had it had it serviced for, before. So I thought I'd take it into my guy, ask him to have a look at it. Um, I also gave him the end, the hedge cutter end, because um, just in case he needed to look at that as well. Um, and got a phone call from him in the afternoon saying engine part is absolutely fine cleaned it all up for me serviced it air filtered it all the rest of it gave it all a, a real nice clean up the problem i had was the blade end uh one of the sections had snapped inside when you with with my hedge cutter it's all sort of pinned together real sort of tight and it sort of slides up and down that's how it cuts um one of the blades in there uh obviously hit something really hard and uh, because one of the blades had a notch in it and uh, where the notch was um, it had split straight through the straight through the blade um, the guy who runs all my equipment for me said that he, uh, he didn't recommend me continue to use it and he was looking into just buying the one blade but unfortunately he couldn't buy that one blade we had to buy a blade set which was about 90 pound um, I looked into maybe buying just the whole thing and to buy the whole thing is like 300 plus pounds so um, just a brand new blade for it so those sort of things you don't think about I mean I was hoping just to get away with the service on the engine and um, ended up being needing um, four days without the without the hedge car so this time of year I'm starting to plan for the for the colder months and so January and February the worst for gardening for me i mean this is all just talking from my personal experience january february for me are, are the worst um i normally can spend from now until christmas clearing leaves every time i turn up to to a job it's always something to tidy away but normally that break after you so have a bit of a break at christmas and then that time you come back after christmas is is quiet you know all the leaves are pretty much gone um and so i'm starting now to think what can i do in January and February now um, it's been quite strange that this week um, so I've had out of all my customers I've got three of them so far have dropped me off um, one of them has moved so I, that was a new guy I picked up this year he's now moved so I won't be going back there again and two of them are some two old ladies I work for in my in my village um, one of them hasn't really got any more gardening to do anyway it's literally just lawn and um, a couple of beds and that's it so that she wouldn't oh, there's no point me going back there. there's nothing to do um, another one of them uh, they there's still bits I could have done but unfortunately she reckons financially they're gonna have to leave me off now until the spring now all those people that say that to me I have to let them know look um, I can't keep you a space in the spring you know if I get phone calls before the spring and you know I can't keep you a space so as long as they know I think sometimes by telling them that that gives them a bit of an incentive to make sure they call back you know for next year um, but obviously if if I get a load of phone calls from now until you know the, the spring for, for new people wanting me to work there then I can't keep a space open for people I mean made that mistake this year kept, kept space open for someone and then got to the spring and they informed me that they weren't going to have me anymore so so yeah, they've, um, I say, in the next couple of weeks, also more and more my customers will drop off. They will decide that there's nothing else to do in the garden. Even though I will look in the garden and think, yeah, there's plenty I can do. Sometimes the customers don't want to be spending the money. If they're not out in the garden enjoying the garden, they don't want to be spending the money. They'd rather just leave it all till the spring and then they can all get out and tidy all up again. But um, most of my jobs, so this job, for example, I'll, um, in fact, I'll give you a quick walk around and I will show you 
um, what I plan to do in the winter on this job. So, for example, this job here, this place I'll come to, um, this time of year I'll concentrate on the leaves. Um, but in my mind I'm starting to think about starting to think about the jobs that I should be doing in January because things are fairly quiet in January and if you don't prepare for it then you might not have anything to do so at this job uh, say hopefully the leaves will take me all the way up to um, to Christmas to do I'll have a little bit of time off in January and then February will come round and then I will have these hedges to do so this hedge here goes all the way down to there it's a pretty massive hedge and it's really wide so that one takes me a fair few visits to get on top of also have that hedge over there to sort out and the one around the front that I sort of showed you last year and um, so yeah when I'm when I'm now anything that I do now in the garden is sort of preparing for that quiet time you know it, I don't really want to be doing lots of big hedges now if I can help it because I'd rather be doing those hedges sort of January and February time when there's sort of nothing else to do so these leaves are uh, should keep me going until Christmas and then come back in January and February and uh, knock some of the hedges out so unfortunately these leaves got on top of me a bit this week uh, I wasn't here last week because it was far too wet, pulled down the rain and unfortunately when you miss a day like that um, when you come back the week after things are twice as bad you know things get uh, they don't wait for you to come back so this is my little pile I've got around the back I have another big pile around the front little pile there and there's also a pile there that I started today hopefully if it stays dry next week I can come in on it was today's Friday so hopefully next week I can come in on Wednesday if it's dry I will go over this with the mower and mulch everything down so I'm coming once a week I normally stay on top of it but so when those uh, times when those times come that you miss him you miss a day uh, you can't make that day back up and it just becomes a lot harder so today I had to literally bag everything um, I had to rake everything up into piles. There was a big pile under that tree over there. And there was also a huge big pile under here. So I might see a few in the middle that's still kicking about, but they can wait. Um, Juno's helping me clear a few sticks away. So yeah, it's just that time of year. So that was just a quick look at this garden in particular. These guys have never ever told me not to come in throughout the winter time. And in fact, um, last year I never even got round to, I normally will pressure wash the patio for them. Um, I never got round to doing that last year, I just had too many jobs to do. So I say this year I'd like to do all the hedges and the patio for them. So I'm going to be busy here, as busy here as I would be throughout the, uh, throughout the, throughout all of the year. And um, that goes for all of my jobs now. I mean, in the next couple of weeks, more and more people will be dropping me off. But Again, strangely this week, I've had, I've picked up three new jobs. I've picked up one job um, who is basically across the road from one of my other jobs, who wants me to go throughout the winter and dig his, all of his, he's got all his flower beds, he wants them all dug over. Um, the other one I picked up, still they want lawns doing. I mean, they haven't, their, their lawn is fairly long and it's now full of leaves, but they want the lawn doing and they also want me to tidy some of the beds and they want a regular spot for next year so um, it's just really straight or one of the jobs I couldn't do um, I wasn't really interested in one of the jobs but to have phone calls this time of year for more work is is a bit is oh no I had a hedge I had a hedge call um, a guy that I worked for in the spring cut all of his hedges he is now phoned again he wants the second cut on them um, just to sort of put them all to bed for the for the uh, for the winter so that's four calls I've had uh, one of the jobs I couldn't do unfortunately um, I wasn't interested in it to be honest um, but no it's it's just been a real real strange sort of week you know to have all these frosty cold weather um, my equipment and uh, you know other people's equipment I use just going all over the place so 
guys I'm pleased I'm really pleased it's Friday I'm literally leaving here now I'm going home I'm going to be stopping at the off license on the way home and get myself some beers for this weekend because I, I need them but as I say this time of year or January and February you know um, if any new guys starting this sort of business this is there are still things to do in January and February but it's just harder to sometimes get your customers to let you do them um, talk is always really cheap as well you know sometimes you will have somebody that say oh yeah I'll have you in January to do that or I'll have you in February to do that and then sometimes you turn up in January and February and they're not they're not interested in you doing it it's, oh no well we'll leave that one for now so I will try in my head I'm trying to plan ahead because I obviously still need to work throughout January and February and I still have bills to pay I mean I you know I have a mortgage to pay and I have three small kids that obviously all need to be fed so I, I still need to find something to do um, anyway guys I don't want to blab too much I just wanted a little bit of a chat with you and uh, I'll try and do a few more of these top type of videos just to um, yeah just to put my put my bit in Anyway guys, hope you're all well, um, I say keep your eye out for the videos coming up, I will have two that are, are edited and ready to come out, so try and get those up as soon as I can. Um, stay warm guys, be good, and I will see you next time. Cheers. So I thought I was going home, um, I can't get out. <laughs> so let me just show you. Front gates, electrical gates, and over here, I have a little button that I'll press, it lets me in and out. Press it, and I'll press it here, listen. I'm pressing it, pressing it, nothing's working. Oh man, this has done this to me before. Um, it's done this to me a couple of years ago. Oh man, I can't remember the freaking number. It's happened to me a couple of years ago, and what happens is when the clocks change, they, um, the gates, the gates are on a number, they're on a timer, so after five o'clock, the gates sort of, they don't, they don't work on the button. So when the clocks change, guys I work for forget to uh, to change it on the gate and so when I'm trying to leave I'm pressing the button oh shit this done this to me before and I had to leave the van here for the night because the people I work for had gone out for the day and I couldn't get home oh fuck uh, okay I'm going to have to try and think of this number I might have it written down let me see Can't find it written down. I can't get hold of anyone. Try to phone them. Oh. I will have to try a couple of. Um, I'll try a couple of codes. One sec. Ah! I remembered it. Mate, that's so annoying. Yeah, just last tip of the day. You work somewhere with electrical gates. Make sure you remember the number to get out and get home. Have a good weekend, guys. Be good. See you soon.